Hi guys. <laughs> I'm doing a mission here. I have a son who's a barber, but that's not even to bother. I have two actually. One is not even mine. I don't know. Who, well, I did meet his mom in Florida. I know him for like over 15 years. He thinks I'm his mama. <laughs> My son, the barber, brought him home one day because he had nowhere to stay. And he calls me mom. I have a bunch of them, guys. I have a bunch of kids. Now they're in their 30s or 35s. One I did lose. An asthma attack in North Carolina because he moved over there. Um, a lot of young ones. Oh, I have a bunch. Of, I have. I have tons. I would like to sell them on eBay. <laughs> yeah. So one uh, is a barber, uh, but he works out of town, and he normally is the one who does my hair, but and makes my a good coffee, and he will. Woke up a storm and I miss him. I miss him. He he moved to Puerto Rico with his wife and um he raised two of her kids. They had a kid from her. I think he's about four years old. Four years old now. Cute little little little, little thing. And um things didn't work out after like five or six years fighting, carrying on, and oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> I don't know which one was worse, guys. But anyway, you know, it's just, you know, God, I always say God always sends me good people. So just so you know that I have other grown, okay, other grown kids that call me mom. They think I'm their mother. Not that they call me mom, they think I'm their mother. <laughs> and it's funny, but I love them all. I love them all. Okay, they, they really do a lot, you know. When they can, when I see them, during the big sea, I don't want to be bothered. Leave me alone. I mean, like, leave me alone. You work out there. Don't come to my house. One of them will knock my door down. <laughs> One have lived in my house for, oh, the longest. Then he goes out and goes back with his wife. And then when shit hits the fan, he comes back to my house, lives again in my house for like a year. Maybe more. He's lived in my house on and off, on and off, on and off. Listen, I adopted that sucker. <laughs> I had to adopt him. I had no damn choice. He don't have no family here. His, his mother's in New York and she's sickly. So I got to um, not meet her personally, but on the phone, yeah. And she's, she's really grateful for me. So as you can see, that sometimes people that are not related to you are more closer to you. Okay? More closer they relate to you, they communicate with you, they reach out to you, just like Miss Laura. Miss Laura in upstate New York, I spoke to her two, two times, three maybe, and she, she calls me, I gave her my phone number, and I said, feel free to call me, because my hands are always free, <laughs> unless I have a bag of food in my hand. So, she even calls me, you know, that's really nice, it makes you feel good, it, 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 brings, it brings you life, okay, it gives you life. When you meet strangers, that it seems to God sends them to me, okay? Because sometimes you feel lonely. Lonely is not easy to swallow, okay? Home alone all the time, uh, home on the road. Um, I don't see anybody. Nobody visits me. Um, I don't have so-called tight friends um, or anybody that I could really count on, um, my daughter that lives here, but she, you know, she got home, a lot of work, a lot of, you know, a lot of things going on for her, so, um, I kind of leave her alone because I don't need to distort her mind in any kind of way, so I try to solve whatever solution there is that comes my way, guys, whatever rock is being thrown at me, I try to make sand out of it, <laughs> so guys, um, I know he's working, I can just drive over out of town to, he's the only one that cuts my hair the way I love it. But he did teach me, he said, Ma, when um, I'm not around, no, you know, when he was going to Puerto Rico, um, this is what you do. You take the number three and you scoop up. Uh, don't be afraid. Sideways, backwards, uh, whichever way, just use the number three. So I keep make sure I don't lose my number three um, blade here. 
and Bella has a little one, and um, I, uh, I can't find a cord. I don't know what I did with the cord. Why would I disconnect the cord from the machine? Oh, so the cord wouldn't be tangling around her when she starts getting fidgety. But I can't find it, guys. I have so many wires. I took out my equipment the other day. I was offered a gig in upstate New York. But it's not close to my brother's. I, I, I will have to drive an hour and more to get home from the place. I really don't, guys, I really do not want to do that. But you got to be prepared anyway. So I just wanted to check that my things were in order. So, there's so many wires. I forgot how to have to connect half of the stuff. It's been a while. But the practice on the laptop, I don't lose because that you got to keep up with practice. But anyway, guys, today is hair day. My daughter is out shopping. She's grabbing whatever. I told her, listen, um, we're running out of this, you know, the, the working punch. So, whatever you need for the week and whatever it is. Oh, she's got stuff there. Ooh. But, um, she went to pick up some extra stuff. And then I get a message from um, a friend of mine that I haven't seen in so many years, guys. Um, she used to babysit my daughter at six weeks. When I had to go back, no, 12 weeks because I had a C-section. Yeah, she's the one that when I fell in the snow, I went and landed under the expedition. <laughs> so... Uh, she turned and became a breached baby. So it was 12 weeks they gave me to recuperate and go back to work. So she babysat my daughter until my my ex, her dad, um, made it so impossible. I went through living hell. People just don't know. Some people just relax. People that know me, they really close to me, blah, 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 but they don't even know um, I, I tell you, it, they only knew the whole story. I, I would have to take 20 years to tell it. And I don't have time for the crap. There is no reason for me to be judged uh, on my life, okay? It is what it is. It was what it was. I can't change it. I wish I could, but I can't change it. So anyway, I just got to keep rolling, right? Like that Tina Turner says, keep it rolling. Rolling down the river, okay? And they can roll down the river along, too. I, I don't have time for the nonsense, guys. Okay? I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't still understand it, but I try not to think about it. Because I keep my mind focused. So, anyway, this kid, his name is Lewis. <laughs> um, well, he's not a kid. He's an old man. Oh, he is like 38. Yeah, he's the same age as my son, the barber. 38. Yeah, they're the same age. Um, oh, shit, he had a birthday in August. And I totally forgot about it. But anyway, you never know where the heck he's going to land at. Because he's from here to there, and then he flies, and he comes back, and he disappears, and then he shows up. So he was knocking my door down when I was up. <laughs> I said, you always come when I'm not home. Good. <laughs> he said, what are you talking about? You're not home? Every time I come in, you're not home. I said, no, I'm in upstate. So... Um, he, he, I, he lived with me for, for on and off, on and off, on and off. He's a good kid. He's just a little kind of wild in the head. Um, crazy, because he'll crack some jokes out of anything. So he makes me laugh. He just cracks the heck out of me during the time that he steps foot in my apartment. And, um, I totally forget about everything. Because he knows I stress a lot. He knows some of my issues. He knows, um... The headaches that I get sometimes, he knows. So, he's not the kind to come and bring you problems. I don't care. He have a hundred problems on his back, guys. He will not come to my house and tell me about it. No problem. He will come to my house to make me laugh, okay? Uh, he's, he's just crazy funny, okay? Crazy funny. And crazy in all ways, but he's crazy funny. He knows with me, I need to laugh. I need to, to. So, then he says, I said, you feel better? Well, heck yeah, having you around, you know, it's, 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 it's like God sends you when I really need you. But sometimes I don't need you, so we'll come around. <laughs> so he's like, you could throw me out one door, you already know that. Um, and I'm going to come in through the other door. Or you throw me out one window, you better make sh uh, um, be sure I'm going to come in through another window. <laughs> I don't care how many times you throw me the heck out. I am going to come back. So you know what? 
He's true to his word. He comes back. <laughs> so, I was just thinking about him. So anyway, this lady, old friend of mine, she was, my daughter's 26. 26. Let's say, yeah, 26 years. Okay, 26 years old. Besides nine months, right? Um, she barely sent my daughter at six, 12 weeks, at 12 weeks of, of, of age of being born. And even though I used to bring her new clothes, she will go purchase new clothes for her. Okay, so she's like her second mama. But um, my daughter's dad separated our relationship because she knew his family. She knew his background. She knew a lot that could have got him in some deep shit with me. So, uh, because she, he saw her driving around town somewhere, and he looked, the car seat was there. Oh, he went the heck off and made a big show, and I didn't know about that show till down the line. So, eventually, he went to pick up the, you know, and took her away and found somebody else to babysit. And I was in the middle of working and so much overtime. And, you know, when you work in a hospital, and you have no hours. There is no hours. There is no, no, I can't because I have a child at home. You, when you work with the VA, um, that is not acceptable. So, those are one of the mandatory rules. Another mandatory rule is if we need you for overtime, there is no excuse. If I say you have to stay tonight, you, 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 you can't. Don't come to me to say you can't. You will be terminated. So, you got to work. You got to work. You got to do what you got to do. Right, guys? So, he separated that relationship. Then she moved. I had moved. And then we lost track because she changed her phone number. I didn't know where she lived. And we recently hit back up like as of a year. Well, guess what, guys? Small world. She lives right around the corner from where my oldest son lives in the luxury apartments. I said, okay. <laughs> so, I was in, um, where, where, where the heck was I? Oh, I was going to the cruise. Actually, I was on my way to the cruise, uh, flying and whatnot and whatnot. Uh, and she hit me up, and I'm supposed to visit her. Um, and she remarried, okay? She has two daughters about the same age as my daughter, maybe, maybe two years older. Maybe two years old, there were two daughters. One got married. The other one went into the military, the Navy or something. And she remarried with another nice guy. She met a nice guy. And they lived in another town. But then from that town, they moved back to this town, but to those apartments. But then um, it's, it's, it's the kind of assistance that you get from the government that you can live like that. Or you have a good income. And you can live in that place. <laughs> I can't. If I if I if I was to live in that place, guys, I wouldn't have a dime left to buy a bottle of water. Not a case, a bottle. So you know what I'm talking about. What kind of apartments they are, right? Okay, guys. So, um, she texted me. Um, I forgot. Is your daughter like this, like this, like this? I'm like, well, skinny behind is running Walmart and doing grocery shopping today. She's out there somewhere. So I did have sent her some pictures. So she, you know, she's like she's like my daughter. Right? I said, yeah, I know. Well, what if you just, you know, I'll just call her name. <laughs> her name, and she'll look, and you'll see she got big glasses, okay, skinny thing, but she lost a lot of weight, and she looks beautiful, and she's out there shopping. I don't know, I'm home, so she, I haven't heard anymore. <laughs> so she probably ran into her. She does have pictures of her, my daughter. Um, that, she was going, she was supposed to baptize my daughter, guys. She was going to be the, I chose her to be the godmother. It was no one best to fit for her, guys. She loved the heck out of my daughter till this day, till this day, okay? And she has run into her, but skeptic of, what, well, she looks serious, but you can talk to her. But she, she, she's white. You know she looks white. <laughs> 
You know, she don't look like you. Oh, yeah, she's white. White girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you want me to do? So, um, I hope they connected today. I hope I hope she ran and, and my daughter would not recognize her at this point because he, she was taken away uh, when she was like a year and some months. You know, um, I tell you, uh, that man, um, I can't knock out as their dad. That's, that's a different relationship. Father and dad, you know, they have to figure that out uh, whenever. But as far as me and him, it was never a match. I just went on a vacation. We were dating kind of, you know, to make it really quick. We dated for some, you know, some, some months or something. I was a vacation person. I had to go to Puerto Rico see my kids. My other kids over there. And <clears throat> I, I had a cat and I had a fish tank. And I couldn't find a darn thing for the fish tank that goes around for like 14 days. So I trusted him if he can come over and feed my cat. And, and the fish tank. Well, when I came back two weeks later, um, he helped himself into my two-bedroom apartment. And then I said, well, we, we were used to work together, too. You know what? I told my daughter, don't ever hook up with somebody who works with you. Your life will be a living hell. Because when they piss you off or something, they're going to do the damnest shit. And you're going to be at work mad as shit. So, excuse my English, guys. The heck? Hold on, guys. Let me see if that's my van. Hmm. Well, guys, <laughs> it was a car parked in the front. Uh, the guy is in the car, the kid. And his alarm is beeping the heck off. I don't know if you heard it. Beep, beep, beep. And um, the car won't start. But the alarm is off the hook. Right in front of the house, too. And, um... He started it up, and then it quit beeping. <laughs> you got to do with your cars what you got to do with your cars, right? What are you going to do? So anyway, guys, I was ready to tell him, take the battery uh, pole off, you know. So, but anyway, I guess he knew what to do. So anyway, that's what happened, guys. I winded up with somebody in my house that I really didn't know that much, that much. But I worked with the person, and it seemed like a nice person. There was anything bad in it, but you know why the demons were all hidden inside. Because I went through hell. The demons were hidden inside because I went through pure hell. So, listen. <laughs> Enough of that topic. Um, uh, I had my share of that. That's why I'm very skeptic and scared and... And also because I dedicated myself to my kids. And I think that was the wrong decision. Okay. You still dedicate to your kids. But you also uh, dedicate you. To you. Okay. I didn't do that. So anyway. So um, this kid. Um, I'm surprised. No, he's working today. Well, he works whatever hours and whatnot and whatnot. But I haven't seen him since I've been back. <laughs> but he did call me. So anyway, I hope she touched base with um, Daisy. Because Daisy is a wonderful person. Until this day, guys, this is sad to say. I did not agree on who he chose for godparents. I have no choose because I don't have any family here. I don't have nobody here. So that was, a, you know, that was kind of hard. But I did know her for some time. <clears throat> I just didn't know that she knew him. And she would never tell me the bullshit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> because she was afraid of what he could have done. I, I don't know, guys. I had no idea. I found out 10 years after I left him. Can you imagine how hidden it was? You talk about somebody hiding stuff under the carpet? I think he's the number one. He deserves a number one trophy. Um, I found out all the garbage 10 years after I, I kicked him to the curb. I walked out the house, actually. You know what? Keep, I purchased a house later. Now. And during them years, it was really quick. It was something like in a matter of two years, I had so much done. But damn, I had all the credit there was. And, and 
and could have shared it with somebody else. Yeah, that's how good my credit was. Um, and I used to throw my cards in a dresser because, in a drawer, because I didn't use them. And I kept getting credit cards and credit cards, unlimited and all that stuff. You talk about any card, I had them all. Um, I never paid any mind to that. But he jacked them up. I found, guys, when I found out the mess, I was in deep S-H-I-T-F situation. <laughs> and that is an S-H-T-F situation. So, guys, I just walked out the house with my two kids and two boat bags. And till this day, guys. Till this day, and it's been... Oh, wait, not cool. Okay, I don't, I'm not good at math, you know that. Uh, my daughter was six years old, and my youngest son was four years old. And right now, they're 24 years old, and 20, 20 years, 20 years, there we go. How much more can somebody claim I got monkey on my back? Oh, 20 years, oh, have mercy. Ooh, it has rained and poured and snowed and sunshine for <laughs> 20 years. Guys, I don't wish him any wrong, but there's God up there has eyes. He's watching. Everybody's time comes. But I don't have to worry. I don't have that. I don't have any kind of nothing in the back of my head kicking my behind because his stupidities was his loss. I heard through the grapevine, he's scratching his behind right now. Okay, yeah. He's scratching his behind right now. Mm -hmm. Bah, there's 20 years of that I went through hardships. Raising two plus two that I already had that came and went, came and went, came and went. Listen, the one that bangs my door down. <laughs> I have a video, guys. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the video in there with, and you're gonna, you're gonna laugh. Okay, when you see this kid walking down the step, he calls me vieja. Vieja is like in Puerto Rico, it means um, like your mom. Okay, it don't mean old lady. Uh, well, it's like saying old lady. This is my old lady. So it's like this is my mom. That's Puerto Rico uh, phrases, okay? Um, when you when you say somebody, oh, this is my vieja, because this is this is my mom, okay? This is my mom, or you say this is my mom, or you say this is my vieja, but you don't have to be old. It, um, the word vieja is old, but it also means um, uh, my mom's, okay? So I'm my mother. <laughs> so I'm gonna say I'm gonna sell you on eBay. <laughs> But I, I do miss him. So he does my hair every time, guys. He's the one that does my hair. But he hasn't, I haven't seen him in um, four months, maybe. <laughs> four months. He's been here a couple of times banging my door down, but I ain't been home. So this was too funny because he was mad. <laughs> he was mad and I wasn't even home. So... He was banging at my door. Oh, you see how hard he'll bang on the door, guys. Oh, you're going to see it. If you find the video, I'm going to load it up there. Hey, he's looking at the camera. He don't even know what the heck that is. Because he don't even know that's the camera. Um, banging the door. And he, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't hide from me. Open the door. <laughs> ah, sometimes he does know that when I'm in a effed up mood, I won't open the door. <laughs> so... He was mad that day for whatever reason. He, he needed to see me. Um, he was mad. But he'll come around. Because he did call me after that. Yeah, I'm in upstate New York. What the heck do you want? Oh, I went to your house. I know you did. Hey, what you, what you, what you open? I wasn't at home. <laughs> so, um, guys, I'm doing my own hair the way he showed me. because. So, you see later. Once it's all ready, I'm done, okay? So, it's coming out pretty good it's coming out pretty good guys okay so oh yeah and it comes out even so he did tell me you know he does the scissor he does it with oh he's good with the scissor lord have mercy he don't even need the machine 
um, just to do the the edges but he saw me how to do it too with the scissor okay so I'm gonna look a little better than normal I'm gonna be back to normal I needed it guys I needed a haircut I can't take all that hair I'm a gel and go I can't be bothered with all this curling and and, and all of that mess and, and damn the hairdresser okay because I don't know what to charge anymore so that's a no-no I used to have beautiful long hair in layers yeah I don't have no pictures guys and you know talking about pictures I told my daughter yesterday um you have pictures of the cruise but I only have two pictures of me she's like ma don't you remember that the first day we arrived on the ship um you lost your phone Oh, snap. No, I didn't lose my phone that day. Ma, we boarded the ship. We... What did I do? Oh, I roamed through the ship. I took some pictures. Yeah, the two or three pictures that I have is all I have. Then I went to the room went to bed early because they told me i had a long day the next day so this arthritic body needed some rest from all that walking i had already did in there so i went to sleep the heck with her um she had the wrong key to get in i didn't have to so i chilled in the balcony and the next morning we landed in the ship got to Coco Cay. And I took one picture entering um, Coco Cay where they were dancing um, some dance from the Caribbean dance. And I took a picture with the pirate. I know where that, I think, yeah, I got the picture. Um, then from then on, that's when I went to the restroom. That's when I lost my phone. So I don't have no pictures. I went on a cruise. And I don't have any pictures. When you go on a cruise, you're supposed to take pictures. I went on the Freedom of the Seas Royal Caribbean um, website. And they have people that post their pictures. And I said, oh, I was there. I was standing right there. I was over here. I, oh my goodness. I, I have a video of that. I was. But I don't have no pictures of me. Or no one that took pictures of me. That I remember. Maybe I had too much Hennessy. I don't remember. That's the only time I drank. A couple of shots. wasn't like I was drinking. She said, Ma, I got pictures. I got videos of us dancing together. You do? <laughs> you do? Yeah, Ma. Well, can you send them to me? We'll send it through the other app because regular messaging, sometimes it says video is too long if it's a video. But if it's pictures, I want them. So she was supposed to do that last night. and she fell asleep. But I ain't fell asleep. So I want to see my pictures. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let me finish this here. Look at this. Oh my god, I look like a porcupine. I mean, it's starting to take its shape now. So, guys, um, let me continue here with this. This, this, this other kid of mine. I can't find this little kid that ain't mine. Y'all meet him one day. But I'll see if I find that video. I definitely will. So look, this was wonderful. Just the length that I like. It's just I have a mess in here. Learn that right? I don't have a mess all over me. And, and look at this here. Woohoo. So thank God that he showed me how to deal with my own hair. He told me don't worry about being straight. 
sideways, up, no, down, never, never up. Across, down, all the way around, straight. There we go. So guys, I'm gonna catch you in a little bit. Yeah! You know guys, thinking about it, this, oh, so I look younger. I look younger with shorter hair. This is a trade. This is something that I could do in an SHTF situation. Haircuts, right? Yeah, I got two of these. This I can't find the cord to the other one. I don't know what to do. But this is a trade. If I can cut my own hair, okay? You see, if I cut my own hair, I know what I'm doing. So if I can do my own hair, I can definitely do other people's hair. Because I can't do no fancy lines and all that design, all that stuff. But as you can see, I have my if you if you have been looking, my 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 hand automatically the blade if i can if, you see how i work my hand because of cutting bellasina i already have that barber thing you know in my hand it's just automatic <laughs> so this is a trade you know something i can do in the sacf situation okay where people are getting um uh you know, hair growing up and I'm looking all crazy and stuff. You can always offer your services, you know, for a couple of bucks. So I could barter for something, right? Right, guys? And, and, am I right or wrong? Guys, put the thumbs up right there for my for my hair cutter. And I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise I will be back. We're going to finish this. <laughs> I'm almost done. Oh, another thing it did show me was to, while it's dry, to pop it to the side. And make sure that it's all straight. Cause you know I like to do my my um my my uh what do you call it? My spikes, right? <laughs> uh, I like to do my spike, okay. So he told me you 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 know you make sure that it's all even. So when you when you pull it to the side. Don't worry about the top, but the top has to be even also. So it's all even guys. It's all even on the top. Okay. I ain't cut nothing much off the top. Nothing much. There we go. There we go. I'll be back, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned for this. Okay, guys, I'm back. I mixed a little bit of the. Uh, I have. Um, I use dark and lovely. Look at that. changing colors already. I use dark and lovely. The golden blonde. Okay. And I only mix a little bit because my hair is short. I don't need much. And it saves me from using every the, all the liquid that comes in the box. And it's only for a little bit because I don't have much hair now. If you had longer hair, yeah, I use a whole bottle. But I don't need a whole bottle, so I save the other half. I use half. And I save the other half. For when I need to do my hair again. That's it, guys. And this is not, it has no powder, bleach, or nothing like that, okay? No. This is just, um, the, uh, uh, the developing lotion. Doesn't smell like ammonia either. And it's good for your hair. I've been using this for years. Other people use the bleach powder and all of that mess. No. It burns your scalp. It penetrates your pores. Okay, I think it's damaging to your hair. I don't think it's healthy for your hair. If for anybody out there that uses the bleach, if it works anyway, I can't tell you not to use what you want to use, right? There we go, guys. Uh -huh. Looking good now. Yeah, ready for a video now. Yeah, there we go. I just slapped this up a couple of times. There you go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So by the time I clean up this mess that I have here in the sink, I hear it should be good to go. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, 
look at this. I lost two earrings. I had to borrow from Paul to put over here, Peter. <laughs> I thought I must be doing some serious grocery shots. I should have been back already. I told her, don't go crazy in Walmart. Just get what you need. That's just what she does. I ain't got to tell her. She just get what she needs and what I need. And what she sees, but she'll look around and she'll know. She'll know, guys. She will find what she's looking for. No problem with her. If she got to go through five different supermarkets, she will. But when she says, Mom, I'm going out there to get... I know. She out there everywhere. So if she's going to Walmart, that's where I will get the text from my friend. And now she, she was supposed to be a godmother. But it's not too late to baptize her because she's still not baptized, guys. She's not. A lot of people say, I'm going to ask you that question. Some religions say that you should wait till your kids get old enough to get baptized. And then some say, um, I mean, I was, I was, I was, I was, um, baptized Catholic. But, I ain't have <laughs> I, 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 um, I go more to the em 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 evangelical side. I don't, the Catholic, mm. I, you know, you learn when you grow up and you start reading the Bible and learning about it, that's when you really know. Um, even my youngest son won't even admit that he's, uh, well, he's not even baptized, but when he was in the military, uh, the military baptized him or something, somebody in the military baptized him, I don't know who the heck they are, but anyway, he did it. Um, because he wasn't baptized, so he was baptized being a Roman Catholic, that's what it says on his, uh, Military badges. I have his military badges of my youngest one. My daughter has my oldest, um, some photo frames, but I wasn't going to return it to him, but, um, no, she said no, ma. I, I haven't hang him up, but I do have him well put away, covered, or what? Yeah. Um, whatever is about I say it's military, and my daughter has it, no, ma. You know how we separate and get lost and shit like that? Family just separates and you don't hear a damn thing? Well, he gonna, I got, I'm gonna have to search for him or he gonna have to search for me. But we, I ain't moving. I said, I understand. He don't know that, but that's why his plots and stuff like that. There's some pictures I have under with the other, my other kids' pictures and stuff like that. And I only have a picture of my father, guys. I don't, I don't remember my dad. My dad passed when I was nine years old in a boat, supposedly a boat accident, but I don't know the true story. So that's why my mother from my side and father from my side don't get along. Let's call it the, the Kings against the Cobras in Chicago, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. It's always been. It's always been since I was um, four years old, I heard. So, I don't, was not raised by a father. I don't know what it is to have a father. I did have a stepfather, and he was, he taught me how to drive. He said, I'm going to teach you how to drive. So, you don't have to wait on no a-hole to take you here and take you there. If my mother would have known, she would have killed me. She didn't kill me before, she would have killed me then. So I'm grateful, but he passed too. He became an alcoholic or what? I used to drink things. My family is a party book. Drinkers, alcoholics. Maybe that's why I don't drink like. That. <laughs> I see, I see liquor. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> but the only thing I will sip on is a little bit of Hennessy, okay, and, and some wine, red wine. And I only let me see. I only had it on when I was on the cruise. That's the only time I had a Hennessy. And I do have Hennessy here, but you know where it is. It's under the butane, not under the, uh, yeah, it's under the butane boxes. That's where that box is. It's full of bottles of uh, pints of Hennessy that was given to me throughout the years in my job, okay? They're still there. <laughs> and Patron. Yeah, I got some. They're going to stay right there. <laughs> because I am, I, I'm, not, I'm not a drinker, guys. Beer, 
one other beer that I like. I was shooting pool one day, a tournament. And after my tournament, I don't drink during my shooting. Um, it's called the uh, uh, Blue Moon. Yeah. But Blue Moon, where you sit in a bar and ask for the Blue Moon. It's a different story. There are cans. I've seen them in upstate New York, but I didn't want to buy them because I know my sister-in-law liked it. Now she wanted some Budweiser. So I got a, a six-pack of Budweiser because that's all we could find. <laughs> we were cut short that night. <laughs> so anyway, um, Blue Moon, when you asked for it at the barn, and actually it was a VFW. Normally we play that DF VFW because they have the biggest pools and they have more than two pool tables. So there's about three tournaments uh, that are a weekend or maybe nights too. I don't know. I lost track because I'm not playing anymore. Um, but I do want to go back. <laughs> I do want to go back, guys. I truly do want to go back to playing pool. Um, that'll be good for me. That'll be good. It, mentally, okay, physically, it'll be good for me. I truly... I, I did get mentally and physically much more balanced when I played pool because you forget about everything. You forget about what your name is. You forget where you live. You forget how you get it. You forget everything. Trust me. If you want to give it a try, find yourself a place that has a billard. You don't have to go into a barn. You go to one of those VFWs in the daytime. There's less people. You don't have to worry about big crowds. And you get yourself somebody to play with or a pool hall. And rent a table an hour. I don't know what it costs now. It used to be eleven dollars. I don't know what it is now. I haven't been to one, and there is one not too far. Another town, but it's not too far. I think I'm gonna make it out there though sometime next month. Um, and uh, just grab a pool stick and try to pocket a ball. Concentrate, concentrate. You got to put that ball in that pocket. And then you come back to my to to I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make a pool video I'm gonna make a pool video, and then you believe your comments there, okay? I will make a video specifically playing pool, and I am gonna go out there and play that pool, and, and then I'm gonna come back to you, give you that video, and you comment on there. What did you feel? Matter of fact, um, you don't even have to. You could put on any one of my videos because I will get notifications, um. Go out there and find you a pool table, guys, okay? Ladies, wake up. Wake up, okay? Wake up. This is a woman's world, too, okay? This is equal opportunity. <laughs> I'm giving you the biggest opportunity to relieve that stress and everything, at least for a little while. It works wonders. God, it works wonders. Um, I'm going to go out there and shoot some darn pool. What's today, Saturday? Shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Um, yeah, what's today? I can't. The landlord didn't show up, guys. I'm mad. I could have been in upstate New York. But no. Stuck here. But anyway, I'm making a productive day. Anyway. Get on a pool table, ladies and guys. Okay? Don't worry if you don't know how to play pool. I didn't know how to play pool either. I learned. And I got trophies. That tells you a lot. You, you need to start somewhere. Okay? So Vanity Eight is gonna push this lady. So when these ladies become pool players and start loading up little about that, they beat this one and they beat that one. Oh, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna laugh. Okay, I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, um, touch a pool table. You're gonna see the magic it is gonna do. It's not the game. It's not about winning. It's doing your best on that table. Okay. It's not about winning. Tournaments were not about winning the game. But it was about every ball you can pack it in was points. So as long as you did some points, that counted towards the final scores. You got that, guys? A lot of people think playing pool is about winning. Okay, Winning if you're playing like an eight ball game and you have a... Um, competition going on one on one but when it's team team tournaments it's not about winning it's about giving it your best shot concentrate measure lower yourself down okay you, you don't want to stand up here now you got to get down there you got to get down you listen ladies down 
when you aim, concentrate before you hit. Take your time and come back and tell me how did it feel. You're going to be, what? I forgot about my name. I forgot about what the heck was going on in the world. I forgot to pick up some groceries that I had to go do. I should have did it before I went to play pool. Man, I had a good time. Oh, I feel so relaxed. Trust me. I need it. I definitely need it. And I am going out there to play pool again if I have to. Well, I've been called. I just refuse. But... I am going to give it some thought because the new tournament start in November. The new starting of the season. So I have until November. No, I have to the middle of October to make my mind up. Only thing is that if it snows and it, you know um whatever, you gotta get there. <laughs> and if you don't get get there, they will pick you up. I don't want, I don't want nobody picking me up. So nobody knows where I live. I don't want nobody to know where I live either. So anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm such a bitch. No, no, I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. I am a sweetheart. I am a sweetheart. I just like to have fun sometimes. You know, you gotta have fun. All the videos can't be a serious video, right? I mean, people get, people get all bent out of shape when you say certain things. They take it the wrong way. I don't, know, I can't, I can't be bothered with that. No, 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 no. Guys, we gotta have some fun too, okay? Have some fun. Get a good laugh with Granny. We ate it here today on a Saturday, doing, slapping her, slapping myself. No, I don't have any lantern flies in my hair, guys. I ain't slapping lantern flies out of my hair. I just dyed my hair. So, guys, look, this side is gonna look always darker than up here because up here it's always lighter than my side. So, I don't worry about, um, Two different dyes. When you see a two tone, it's because I did a dark tone here one time and I had it lighter. So after that, you don't have to do both again anymore. But it's gonna look hot. Baby, gonna be good. Baby, gonna be rocking. She gonna go play that pool. All right, guys. Enough of this craziness. Hope you enjoy. I made your day. Give you some laugh. May just put a smile on your face or something like that. Don't cry. Don't cry, guys. No, do not cry. Do not cry for nothing. Be happy. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. All right, guys. I'll see you later when I pump this up with some uh, Gorilla Monkey. What is it called? Monkey Gorilla Gel. The top of a $3.99 bottle. Kicks the spikes up like a porcupine. And no matter what the weather is, it stays intact. <laughs> Alright, guys. There we go. How's that, guys? How's that, guys? Look good? I did a good job? Hey, I got a trade, right? I learned something long time ago, long time ago. And I just, I like it like that. Some gel, slap some gel and keep going. Alright? Yeah, look, y'all. Look. Oh, I gotta fix this. Yeah, a little makeup on. And I put, I'm gonna take one from here. I'm, I'm tired of being. I feel like I'm lopsided. Okay, I feel like I'm lopsided. I'm missing some. I'm missing some. Um, <laughs> guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Hope you got some good laughs and fun with this video, and I see you soon, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I forgot. I have no copyright to the music in the background of this video the end of this video while i was when i had finished doing my hair so for youtube purposes i claim no copyright to any music in the background my daughter got home with the groceries and she was kicking it in her room and it came out in the end of the video so <laughs>